The state Senate in California just uh, passed legislation that would allow pu public schools throughout the state to include gay right activists in social studies uh, textbooks. Okay. Now, of course, uh, Fox News is not happy about this. In fact, we have a report that Fox News put together, um, and you'll get an idea of the type of coverage they're doing on this story. Let's watch. Well, John, the intention here is to change the course of history quite literally in California public schools by requiring kids to learn about the contributions made not just by ethnic groups and women, but by gay and transgender Americans, too. Every school district would get to decide which people would be warranting study in discussion in the classroom. But uh, some supporters say that uh, slain uh, San Francisco supervisor Harvey Milk would be an appropriate choice. They say his fight for civil rights is every bit as worthy of instruction as Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s. But critics claim the legislation hijacks history class to promote a gay agenda. Take a listen to both sides. In the past, history taught about what people did, what they accomplished. It didn't focus on their sexuality, what they did in the bedroom. And yet that is what this legislation will impose upon every public school in the state of California dealing with heterosexuality, homosexual role models, transgender role models, uh, all the way down to the kindergarten level. We should not be afraid to teach our children of the broad diversity of human experience. It's not going away. It's always been with us. We have different kinds of people. They are under law to be treated equally why would we not want to teach our children this? As important as the three R's? Oh, certainly it's as important as the three R's. It all goes together. Parents will be labeled intolerant if they object to inclusive education programs, like this one last month in Oakland. We visited a school where kids were taught that people can have more than one gender or no gender at all. Okay, my favorite part of that video is where the reporter just randomly said that parents will be labeled intolerant if they object. Well, what? First of all, that is com that's a complete lie. Like, for the schools aren't going to have like a list, like a blackboard that says, "Oh, intolerant parents, uh, Joe Schmo didn't allow little Nancy to read about gay activists." That that's not the case at all. So don't believe that. Another thing that I love is uh, the gay agenda. They're trying to push a gay agenda. Can someone please explain to me what the gay agenda is? Okay, are, 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 are they going to read about Harvey Milk? Are little boys going to read about Harvey Milk and automatically like, you know, Bobby next door? Think about, you know, sexual activity with Bobby? I, I don't get it. What's the gay agenda? What are they so afraid of? It drives me crazy. And another thing is, they're not going to talk about what goes on in the bedroom with gay people. Okay, that's another flat-out lie. Yeah, that, that was one of my favorites. Like, and then they'll be talking about what kind of sex they're having. No, they're not talking about that at all. It's not like they talked about what kind of sex Martin Luther King was having. They're talking about history. That this person fought for black rights, this person fought for gay rights. I love in the beginning when the reporter says, well, then these people will get to decide who, you know, what warrants studying. Yeah, that's what you do in school. You decide what warrants studying, right? And then uh, my last favorite part is that they're hijacking history class to teach history. I know, I know, I know. It's amazing <laughs> because they fail to realize Harvey Milk, for example, is definitely a civil rights leader. Why wouldn't we learn about him in school? You, because you don't like gay people? Since you don't like gay people and because you're a bigot, we're not allowed to learn, our kids aren't allowed to learn about what he did? You know, it, it's, it's so stupid, and I don't know what they're so scared of, honestly. I think they're, they truly believe that learning about gay activists and learning about homosexuality is somehow going to make people convert into gays. It's, it's insane. Well, look, they're afraid that if you even acknowledge the existence of gay people, that it'll make it seem like it's okay. And the reason they're afraid of that is because I'm telling you, most of these guys... When they were young, they must have had the same thoughts that Marcus Bachman had and that, you know, uh, Michael Savage had, uh, that they always talk about, Alan Keyes. All these guys, they've all said the same thing. You know, when they were younger, oh, of course they were confused about their, you know, uh, gender identity and they didn't know what to do, if to go with guys or to go with girls, etc. And so they're afraid that if you say, no, it's okay, there are gay people, that, of course, they would have rushed to be gay, so they assume everybody else will rush to be gay. And look, now I'm going over the top. As I saw those two people being interviewed, I assumed the guy who was fighting for teaching, you know, about Harvey Milk was straight, and I assumed the guy who was fighting against it was gay. 
He did seem a little gay. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Okay. Yeah, but it's I, it's just laughable to me. Like, you know, I have to admit, though, I remember when I saw um, the movie Milk. As soon as I finished watching that movie, I got hot and heavy with my friend Becky. I couldn't help myself. I mean, that movie yeah, see, really turned me off. <laughs>